The commander's unit status report, CUSR, the output of the entire training management system. These reports provide the Army with key data on unit readiness and deployability. I'm Master Sergeant Grant Smith, and let's dive in. Army Regulation 220-1 tells us that the CUSR indicates the degree to which a unit has achieved level of fill for personnel, equipment, the operational readiness status of its equipment, and the training proficiency of its personnel. The commander is ultimately responsible for the unit status report. All commanders should have active and working SIPR or SARNET tokens because once the information is aggregated, the ratings are classified. Of course, Turn around. this doesn't mean that all of the inputs are derived from classified sources. The four main measured areas of the CUSR are personnel, equipment on hand, equipment readiness, and training. Otherwise, summarized as the P, S, R, and T. All values taken together make up the C level. Let's take a moment to discuss the personnel rating. Always make sure your unit manning roster is up to date. Administrative staff, the commander, and the first sergeant will make any changes prior to the 15th day of the previous month. Ensure that all personnel are coded properly in the systems. Units should also have copies of all recent retirement orders, transfer paperwork, MOS and reclassification documents, as well as all applicable medical documents. The SNR level pertains to your equipment on hand you don't need it and its readiness. It. What's wrong with this picture? Can you effectively train without your unit's equipment? Unit equipment readiness and availability is a key driver in a successful and effective unit training management plan. The S relates to equipment shortages within the unit by type. Six, six, six. Work with your unit supply and property book officer on this. You must understand how a lack of equipment affects your training and operational mission. You must make a comment for all limbs that are missing or degraded. Know about your pending lateral transfers, new upcoming net fieldings, and those items managed at higher levels. The R pertains to your equipment maintenance. Just because you have equipment does not mean that it works. In all cases, you will have to justify what impacts this has and what you are doing to rectify any issues. Involve your maintenance professionals. Make sure that you are able to summarize the status of each piece of equipment. And now Put for training. The T back. rating is a commander's hey. assessment of completed Man. and scheduled training and Put how that. that feeds into proficiency in there. mission oh, essential God. tasks. Hey, Met proficiency is aggregated into the overall T rating. All units must assess their METs in the digital training management system, DTMS, prior to beginning the CUSR. You will also project and forecast MET proficiency increases or decreases based on your yearly training calendar. It is important that commanders refer to MET training and evaluation outlines. These prescribe an attendance level required for collective training events. Mobilizing units will prepare a report monthly. Most units will only submit a quarterly CUSR. The CUSR is a complex process. However, it is an excellent tool to provide the highest level decision makers in the Army feedback and assessments on their units. Commanders, get familiar with this process.